Good afternoon and happy Thursday. We had a big surprise with the payrolls number this week. Uh, and inflation surprises everyone yet again, although I don't uh, I don't know that it's as much of a surprise. Uh, my name is Brandon Steele, financial advisor with Mainsail Financial Group here in Bellevue. And our goal every Thursday is to bring to you the market news, the data, the trends that we're watching, and hopefully weed out a bit of the noise along the way. So to kick off this week, uh, going back to last Friday, we had non-farm payrolls. For those who follow us closely, you may remember that last week we actually did not have an ADP employment report for the month, which is the first time that's happened in a ways. Um, they're actually revamping how they're tracking that. So we won't get ADP employment numbers. I think it's until it's, uh, it's until late August that that comes back out. So this was the first glimpse at really the jobs uh, for the month of, of June and non-farm payrolls on Friday were actually great. It was a huge surprise. It was about 372,000 jobs added uh, versus expectations of around 250. So very, very good news. Um, about in line, I believe, with last month. So not like a, a huge jump necessarily, but there was a lot of concerns about the jobs market here this month. And... Uh, yet again, uh, the jobs market showed that it's uh, it's still kicking. So that was a good surprise. Uh, fast forward to, I believe it was Tuesday, and we had the inflation number come out. Um, probably no surprise to you that uh, this was not much of a shock from our perspective, but it did take the, uh, the market spy shock a little bit. We saw another huge number. It was 9.1% on the CPI. Um, it was up about 0.7% in the last month here. So, you know, we've been talking about inflation for a long, long time. We've been talking about how it's not just a supply chain issue. It's also a money supply issue and that we don't really see this slowing down for, for a while. And here we are again with another sign that it hasn't even slowed, let alone slowing. So that number was was very big. And I think the, the markets were a little surprised by it. Plus... It obviously opened the door to conversations about the Fed potentially raising rates by 100 basis points in the next meeting as opposed to 75. So in other words, a whole percent in the coming meeting. Uh, we'll have to watch that very closely. There's been some talks since that uh, the Fed uh, members are trying to slow down those concerns. So we will see what happens coming up here pretty shortly, actually. Um, but it's, I mean, it's very clear that inflation is not slowing. And just by the Fed raising rates, you know, one time last month, doesn't mean that that inflation number is gonna tick down overnight. Uh, in fact, you know, if you really think about it, the Fed is actually still accommodative as opposed to tight. And so, you know, yeah, it may slow down the, the growth of the inflation, but you know, I, we're, gonna, we're gonna see these numbers, I think for a bit still. Um, Tied to that, but a little bit different, and you, got, you may have seen some of this, but the Social Security cost of living adjustment is now estimated to jump over 10% for 2023. So this is kind of a separate note. It's not necessarily tied to the markets, which is really the whole point of this, but obviously we do a lot of financial planning, and uh, this has a big impact on a lot of financial planning considerations, uh, where normally Social Security COLA estimates or jumps are not very large. Now we're seeing talks about over 10% increases for next year. Uh, coming up next week, we've got retail sales, we've got home sales, and the big one, we've got earnings conversations. So we've already started earnings season, but next week we'll have a little more data to dig in uh, a bit further and, and maybe get a little glimpse at what's going on, which ties into our question of the week, which is, what do we watch basically here at Main Sale when it comes to the earnings season? And it's different from time to time. So I want to point that out to be very clear. But right now, what we are really paying attention to this earnings season, which just kicked off, is not so much the current earnings. In other words, the earnings and the revenues that these companies are reporting. That is important as well. Don't get me wrong. But what we are watching very, very carefully this session is the company's guidance or their outlook for the year to come. Um, a lot of, as you probably know, a lot of stocks are priced based on forward earnings. So in other words, the company projects their earnings for 2022, 2023, and stock prices typically fluctuate, obviously, but they are, uh, the value is mostly geared around what that company is projecting as far as their earnings go. So, a lot of the analyst estimates, a lot of the prices, a lot of the market movements that we see are based on the forward guidance of these companies. Now, that's all been well and good for the most part leading up to 
this current earnings season. And what we are watching very, very closely is with inflation, with interest rates, with all these different factors at work, are these companies going to stick to an optimistic uh, outlook for the year moving forward? Or are we gonna start to see them pull back a little bit on their, uh, their expectations? So that is very, very important to watch. And I think of like <laughs> all the times I can remember this earnings season, I think is gonna be extremely, extremely important to watch that particular uh, aspect of it. So I hope that helps. Uh, again, this is maybe a little bit shorter on the data side of it, but uh, we've got a lot to cover next week. So definitely tune in next Thursday at 3 p.m. In the meantime, enjoy your summer and the sunshine that's finally uh, hitting us here in the Pacific Northwest. We'll see you next Thursday at three. And as always, if you have any questions for us, please do uh, leave it in the comments, reach out to me directly, and uh, we'd be more than happy to try and answer your question in our weekly update. Thanks so much. Have a great upcoming weekend and we will see you next Thursday at three.